I'm Amy Nevejas. I am the CEO for the United Way of Cumberland County. Judy Klink was the executive director for Better Health, a local nonprofit in the area that provides really critical health services to individuals in need. She did a remarkable job. The board raves about her. And then she chose to retire, and I was hired as her successor. She was a military spouse, um, a wonderful doting mother and grandmother. I know that she was a dental hygienist and went back to school to get a master's at UNC. And after she received her master's, she applied to, to Better Health and really had a career change. But I anticipate that even prior to that time, she was very involved in her community because it was so truly ingrained in her heart. It was really who Judy was. Judy and I worked together not only through the transition at Better Health, but also on other boards and committees. And what really stands out to me is that Judy was always willing to do more. Judy worked with Better Health on the committees there. She worked with Cumberland Health Network she was a member of Women's Giving Circle and served as a grants chair. She worked with Net Worth in Cumberland County and she was very involved with her church as well, St. John's Episcopal. She really cared about making a difference and she understood the importance of giving back to the community. She was such a firecracker and that was something that I really loved about her. She was fun to be around because you always knew where Judy stood, but she, she did it in the most fun and humble of ways. So, I mean, she was incredibly supportive, but on my first day there, we were just totally swamped and it was this crazy day and there were clients coming in and out and the, the door kept ringing and the phone kept ringing and I picked it up and the client had a particular need that I knew wasn't something that Better Health offered and I said, you know, I'm so sorry, we don't, we don't offer that. And Judy said, we always really try to provide them another resource if we don't have exactly what they need. And that resonated with me. She was 100% right. Don't look for a way to say no, look for a way to say yes. And I love that. That is so Judy to me. She didn't do it for accolades. She didn't do it for anybody else. I think she just genuinely knew and understood um, the impact of working in the community. I think Judy's legacy is really her servant's heart. There are so many people who've been touched by Judy's presence. Um, and you know, you, you hear some of that after her passing and people sharing their stories of really how much she meant to them. And a lot of times it's, it's her support. I'm so proud of Judy and the impact that she's made in the community. And she's truly deserving as a recipient of the 2021 City View Power of Giving Community Impact Award. And I hope that her family are able to really celebrate her and all that she did in her life because truly Judy made an impact and she has a lasting impression in the community of what more can we do.